Good morning, prayer partners. I'm so excited for today's topic. My city, where are you from? Where do you reside? Do you mind? Drop your name and your city in the comments section today. I want to know where you're from. I found out through YouTube that I have people watching in Mexico. What? Europe, huh? and a friend told me, even India, all over the world. So drop your city for our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And I got a song from Naps at Oakwood University that I'll be praying today. And I've been using their music all week. It's songs from South Africa. And these are songs they use on the mission field. And I truly enjoy the voice that is being used as an instrument to praise the Lord. So I'm going to play it now, and we're going to get right into our scriptures. But seek the welfare of the city, where I have sent you into exile, and pray to the Lord on its behalf. For in its welfare, you will find your welfare. Jeremiah 29.7 your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Matthew 6, 10. If my people, who are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and heal their land. And that is a promise for our city. Let's take a moment to wash off our day or just simply calm down. Grab a pen and paper in expectation on having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with our Heavenly Father. Rid our minds of distractions, overwhelming feelings, thoughts, and busyness that come with the daily lives intentionally choose to lean in to God's presence. Here are our questions for the day. What is God speaking to you today about your city? How will your growth in praying for your city affect those around you? What commitment will you make today to pray for your city? Let's pray together. Lord, today I thank you for my city. We thank you for everything we thank you that every city has a unique identity and purpose. And I ask that you would use me to be a light, an answer, and a representation of who you are in my city. I pray that my city would be known as a place of hope, love, character, and faith. I declare that you're healing my city from injustices done in the past and bringing those that live here together in unity. Thank you for blessing my city by the power of the Holy Spirit and in Jesus' name, amen. Jesus wants us to be one. This is the Father and Jesus are one. My picture today on my history is my grandmother and my siblings, my sister and my brother. You're looking at a woman that worked for the city. My grandmother was an educator and a teacher. And I said two different things because she taught for East Baton Rouge Parish School System, but she was an educator to let us know how to become entrepreneurs. And my sister does taxes, my brother owns his own trucking company, and I own my own cleaning service. She educated us in excellence. I honor her today. I reflect on the things she taught me, how to dress, how to carry myself, how to speak up. This African outfit was made by one of my spiritual mothers, and I honor her legacy. She was a seamstress, and she also took time to teach me how to be a woman who desires 
after God's heart. I thank God for these women because that other mother, my spiritual mother, also worked for her city and she was also an educator. Remember, enjoy Jesus. <laughs>